Hi guys, I just thought I'd do a quick video to show you how to do the door bows that you've purchased from us. So in your kit, you will get two pieces of organza. So start off with your first piece. It doesn't matter what colour they are and it doesn't matter which way around you do it. It's personal preference. So you go over the door. So imagine on your house, this is the front of your door. So over the door and then underneath the door don't worry too much you can sort it out after once you've got it right and then so pull it and then you'll get your tails just check that it isn't twisted on the front Okay, and then you've got your tails. Get these to about a similar length. And then you're gonna grab it and cross it over like a tie so that it looks like this on the back. So wherever you tie this knot depends where it's gonna sit on your door. So the lower you have it down or the higher you have it up, you need to make sure that when you tie the knot, it's where you want your bow to sit. So this is going to go round there. And this one is going to go through here. Like this. It's a little bit easier on the door, but it's cold outside. So I'm going to do it inside instead. So then you've got this side. Just straighten it out before the, you tie it. It just makes it a little bit easier than doing it at the end. Make sure that it's not twisted. So then you will get to the front. You grab it like this and then grab this one at the same time and then wrap this one over like this and wrap this one over there like that and then you can pull it so that it's tight and then just knot it and then the reason why you try on the back to get your tails sort of a similar length is so that when they hang they hang at a similar length on the front so this is where your door bow and your baubles are going to sit so then you can just arrange that. Now, if you have two colours, you can decide which colour you want on the bottom and which one you want on the top. But then for the second colour, it's just exactly the same process. So over the top. under the bottom and again you want to do a similar thing so you want to get your tails to a similar length okay and then you're just going over what you've already done So get your material where you want it to sit on your door. And then on the back, you just need to make sure that your bows line up. You don't want these to be at 
different heights. You want them to line up so that on the back of your door, it looks okay as well. So, again, grabbing this material. So, under, like that. And then with this one, over, like that. And then tie it. And then just rearrange it. I like to do it so that the bottom piece is spread right out and the piece that sits on top is gathered more on the bow. So that is your door bow. Don't worry about these because we're going to cut these down once you've got the door bow on. So next you will have got baubles and your bow. So what you're going to do is when I've sent it to you in the post, I've already attached the tie wrap to the bauble. So you're going to go under the bow. Don't get your tie wrap tangled in with the wires. And then just like this. So you want your bow to look like this. And then the battery pack sits in the middle. So how I want it to look is I want this to be sat in front of my bow. Just like that and then dangling down. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the two pieces and I'm gonna thread them, the, this left one underneath the left bow and this one over the top of the right bow and then just pull it. And then as you're pulling it, try to arrange it because once it's tight, it will be hard for you to arrange the bow. So afterwards, you can sort of mess around with it and make it sit right where you want it to sit. Okay, so also in your kit, I will have sent you an extra tie wrap. This one is in case you want to secure your bow just a little bit more. I like to do it just so that there's no because um, these are quite weighty so all you do is this one is through the top around the back and pull it and that way it secures your bow at the top like that and then just cut off your ties like that and then your tails so I like to split my tails so that they sit right underneath the bow so just gather up your tails so that they look right and they sit right and then I like to keep them just a little bit longer than the end of this bow so just get your scissors and cut it down so that it sits just like that. And then just mess around with the material until you get it how you like it. And that's it. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to do it but if you have any more problems or you're struggling just let me know and I'm happy to help do send us a picture when you've got your bow on your door because we'd love to see them thank you